What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. This is the good, the bad, the ugly training camp New York Jets part two. Because part one, I didn't get enough out, I guess. And I'm bored. It's Sunday and I got sunburned. So, who, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, first of all, we broadcast live Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock. Uh, Friday nights at 8 o'clock as well during the season. Check it out there. You can call in. We'll put the call-in number in the bottom of this uh, video. Uh, the second good part of this was Tremaine Johnson. Uh, yesterday and the other video was Sam Darnold. Uh, this one is Tremaine Johnson. Tremaine Johnson is arguably one of the most important pieces of Greg Williams' defense. Number one corner, press corner, big contract, a lot of expectations. He came to the training camp in shape. He's playing very well. He's playing very physical. He got banged up a couple days ago with the leg injury, so he's been slow a little bit. But a very encouraging sign early on from Tremaine Johnson, which is vital for this defense, especially when you have Dow Roberts, which is kind of an unknown as a press corner in Greg Williams' defense. Brian Poole's played pretty well as well, but secondary's got a, kind of some question marks. So the, my good for the part two will be Tremaine Johnson with a honorable mention of Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell is a guy that some people said, you know what, is he going to be a pain in the ass once he gets here? Is he a diva? How's he going to handle things? The guy is ridiculously fan-friendly, media-friendly, always just trying to do whatever he can to get better every day. He has great chemistry with Sam Darnold working his ass off in practice. So for me, that's another positive. I mean, after a year off, you weren't sure what to expect, especially after the big contract. Le'Veon Bell's been everything you want and probably more at this point. So hopefully he translates to the regular season where he does very well, but it's good. For my bad, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to go with a couple people here. And the, the bad for now is Marcus May. And it's not about the player, it's about the injury. The Jets are what, a week and a half in the practice? He's still not practicing, which... You start getting nervous when you get to the second and third preseason game if he's not on the field. I mean, the secondary right now at the safety position, after Jamal Adams, you have Rontez Miles, Doug Middleton, Brandon Bryant, not exactly going to instill confidence in you. So the bad right now is that you know Marcus May's not practicing. So again, not about the player, but you got to get him on the field. It's kind of it's kind of vital. Other than that, I mean, you got to look at everything else. You have, you know, a lot of guys that are playing well. Um, the one thing people are starting to talk about is Ja'Kai Polite, and I find that ridiculous, to be honest with you, as he's a project. His head's probably swimming right now, so I wouldn't go too crazy about that. Um, other guys are trying to look at Nathan Shepard, all these other players. It's so difficult to see to really evaluate early on, so a lot of these things are just like initial impressions, and right now for Marcus May, the best ability is availability, and he's not available. And But granted, I'll, I'll give you this, is that at practice, he is working his ass off in conditioning drills. He is seen sprinting, running, everything else. You just want to see him start popping pads again. So, a recap real quick. Le'Veon Bell is another positive. Tremaine Johnson is a positive. Sam Darnold, obviously all the, rook, the receivers are doing good. The bad is, is Marcus May, in my opinion, just not, not playing. The injury to beat him, which I mentioned, is bad, too. You want to see him back on the field. And the ugly, it's still Chano Catton's arrow. It's still the fact that he sucks right now. So I'm not even changing my ugly. He's still ugly in this situation. I can't take it. This is this is just the way I feel. Special teams, there's so many hidden yards in special teams. There's so many things going on. The Jets are overhauling returners, and now you're bringing in a kicker who's having a terrible camp. So if you want to say wait till the preseason, okay. But you are what you practice. He can't make a freaking kick in practice. So the ugly still remains the same. So this is a quick video. Uh, glad you guys like it. I'm still trying to figure out how to make this video clearer. I'm just not very technically savvy, as you can tell by the audio of a radio show. But uh, Tuesday nights, let's talk Jets radio, 8 o'clock. Once the season starts, we will do it uh, Tuesday and Friday at 8 o'clock. We appreciate the supports, the follows, and for watching these videos. Mine are not as good as prime times, but I'm doing the best I can. Talk to you guys later.